and welcome back. And as promised, our sound man and master of theoretical physics, DJ Dr. Stevie Hawking, has been hard at work on a new invention to help with our research. Uh, this is the uh, flying time machine, and we are uh, just about ready for our first test flight, so uh, let's climb aboard. Hey, Dr. Stevie, how are we doing? I've been having some problems with the time-space navigation computer, but I think I've got the bugs worked out. So, are we ready to go? Absolutely. Get strapped in and I'll start the fly engines. Great. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'll let our listeners know about our destination. You see, uh, Stevie and I often debate on whether UFOs are real or not. So, uh, we're going to go back into history, to the exact time and location of some famous UFO sightings, to see for ourselves whether or not UFOs are real. Are we ready? Ready. Open the launch bay doors. The launch bay doors are open. Stand by for launch in three, two, one, launch. Wow. I wish you could see this. We are now soaring over the Lancaster County farmland. And, uh, hey, hey, look, cows. <laughs> and there's the three mile island cooling towers on the horizon. Yeah, just looking at it all fills my heart with such passion. Ah. Oh. Come on, Stu. Not in such close quarters. Sorry, uh, but I must say, Stevie, this is a pretty sweet ride. Thanks, and check out the awesome stereo I installed. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't I, deny. I say it's a bit loud. Oh, sorry. What's our first destination? Let's see, uh, the first on our list here is uh, Lubbock, Texas, February 24th, 1951, where uh, over a dozen people reported seeing an un unidentified craft circling the sky. Okay, I just entered the date and the location into the navigation computer, and here we go. Whoa, that was crazy. Did it work? The location tracker confirms we are over Lubbock, Texas, February 24th, 1951. Awesome. Well, here we are, and now let's find that UFO. Is there anything on radar? No, it's just us up here. Well, okay, let's just circle around for a while and uh, see if anything shows up. Well, this is disappointing. Uh, you see anything, Stevie? There's some people on the ground pointing at the sky, but I can't figure out what they're pointing at. Well, I don't see any UFOs up here. So, uh, let's go to the next sighting on the list, and, uh, let's see, uh, there was a UFO spotted over Boise, Idaho, November 8th, 1963. Entering the data into the navigation computer, and here we go. Well, here we are in Boise, Idaho, November 8th, 1963. Uh, the sky is beautiful and clear, and again, uh, no UFOs here at all. Do you have anything on radar, Stevie? Not a damn thing. We are all alone up here. I apologize to the listeners, this may be a little disappointing, but apparently these UFO sightings are some sort of hoax. I mean, r right now I can see people on the ground pointing at the sky in fascination. But uh, it has to be some sort of mass delusion because there's nothing up here except for me and Stevie and our flying time machine. No UFOs at all. Stevie, what's that noise? The navigation computer is going haywire again. It's sending us to a new destination. Whoa. Well, where are we at now? It says we are in Lakehurst, New Jersey, May 6th, 1937. 1937 Lakehurst, New Jersey. Why does that sound so familiar? Collision alert. We are about to hit something big. Hang on. Fuck. Jumping Jesus shit, what was that? We just bounced off another aircraft and did burst into a huge fireball. Wait, Lakehurst 37. We just hit the Hindenburg. What? Get the hill out. No, seriously, look at it. We just blew up the Hindenburg. Oh shit. We better get out of here. We are losing power from the main engine. Alright, Stevie, uh, just tell me what to do. Hit the instant return button. That will take us right back to our starting point. Which button is it? Uh, this one? I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other Wrong button, dipshit. Sorry. Hold on. We are jumping again. Where are we 
at now? 1947, New Mexico. We just lost main engines. Assume crash positions. Ah, you said assume. And you know, when you assume something, you make an ass out of a... Now is not the time. Oh, sorry. Stevie, Stevie, you okay? Yeah. Good thing my wheelchair is equipped with an airbag. How busted up are you? I think I shit my pants, but uh, but look at your awesome spaceship. It's all smashed all over the desert, ruined. Don't worry about it. I can build another. We better get out of here. I saw a small town nearby. Maybe we can get transportation there. Uh, what town is it? I think it's called Roswell. What about all this wreckage? Screw it. Nobody will ever find it out here in the desert. I got a feeling someone's gonna find this. Wait, aren't we stuck in 1947 now? Don't worry. I've got a friend named Dr. Emmett Brown who lives in Hill Valley, California. He's got a time traveling DeLorean that can take us back to the future. But we might have to wait a while. Why is that? He doesn't invent his flux capacitor till 1955. <laughs> Well, at least that'll give me some time to work on the new podcast, which I hope all of you listeners will tune into. And uh, on behalf of myself and uh, Dr. Stevie Hawking and Oswald the Iguana and everybody else here at the Funhouse Laboratory, we uh, thank you for listening and uh, hope to see you again soon. Uh, And keep your baloney detectors on.